Drew, you looks like you're already cooking a you're cooking a storm up here. Well, not quite ready yet. Do I have a few things that I have to do? For but today's yeah, show, we're, we're going to be making for you a most popular dish in the 1980s. Penne a la vodka. That's when it came over to America. That's when it really got it started. The it's disco. <laughs> just <laughs> he's giving all the facts. Yeah. Early on, just they burning through the information. Man, I looked up Wikipedia and he just he spent an hour in there and I just gave I you all this, I the rundown. This, yeah, I wanted to sound important. Tell you guys all the details behind the penny a vodka, which is what we're going to make right now. Delicious meal, mm. very simple to make. It's literally Adjust one of my all the ideas. It's one of my favorites. My when I when we were first married, my wife made this for me, and I just yeah. I, over the moon. I loved it. Anything but, really simple to cook, Josh is really that's good it. at doing. Yeah, it. like I mean, a pot of water. Great job boiling. By the way, how's this boiling up? No, no, I just turned it up the heat because well, I just we want to get this we want to get this uh, going, guys. We are excited to start this uh, program with you guys right now. Welcome to, uh, uh, to the show. What tools inside? Uh, what sides, tools inside? What tools inside? Two cooks in the kitchen. We're going to make penny ala vodka for you right now. So uh, it's a very simple dish. We we are going to make a nice sauce to go with it. You got to make the sauce from scratch. You can't just grab a can of it. I mean, you could, but the important, not real. necessary ingredients: extra virgin olive oil, onions, onions. garlic, garlic, mint. Mint. Or not mint, rather. Uh, basil. Uh, basil. Uh, mint parm. would be a different taste altogether. It would be. Uh, we're going to talk prosciutto. Prosciutto. You've so got all these things. First of tomato. all, let's get started, Josh. Why don't you throw some uh, oil? Let's get that pan yeah, cooking up some oil. You got this heat on That's this? important. Get this nice and hot yeah. here. So uh, you're going to make the base of the sauce. First thing you do, once start, you're boiling, start boiling your water. Get your water boiling. Because as soon as it's boiled, you're going to be throwing in the pasta. That's got to cook down for 9 or 10 minutes. While that, while your sauce is making. Now, when you're uh, doing cooking and you're reading cookbooks and stuff, sometimes you'll see um, uh, a pinch of salt, or once around the pan, or instead uh, instead of actual tablespoon. So once around around the pan means exactly that, just a around the pan, and it gives you about that much oil. Yeah. And uh, and then you spread it out. I don't cook any dish, any dish, without butter. And they can tell. It can. It shows. And they can see it. <laughs> oh yeah. You're like Paula Dean. It's just how I roll. I just like having uh, butter. You want to put now, nice just, on the butter? Not too there? quickly, now because now like, you're going to be because the the, the 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 caution with cooking with butter is uh, it has a lower burn point, so you have to really be careful that it I doesn't burn. I can assure you. Scorch. I can assure you with the heating system that we have here on yeah, this set. I know. We will not have to worry about a burning. So there you go. We're going to cook up that butter. Get it nice and uh, the and the oil nice and hot. Now you can see in the little screen to, into the corner. Uh, this is just gonna. We're just gonna melt this butter up here, and uh, and get that simmer. Now while that's doing it, Matt's gonna do some chopping. Chop, chop, chopping. Yeah, I'm gonna be using uh, these awesome knives. This is the Home Hero knife. The Home set. Hero. It's got like our knives out type uh, layout here. This is kind of nice here. Let me look, let me show you. Show that, Josh. You don't want to use about a half an onion. Not much more than that. It's a. Uh, it's a. It, it displays all the knives really quite prettily. It's uh, prettily. Prettily. See, every show he uses a new word that new he's word. just made, designed himself. These are called the, the Home Hero Edition, right? Now, you've got your bread knife. You've got your chopping knife. You've got this knife, which I don't understand right, the reason for this knife. Which I, one? This one. Just a long knife, but it's, it doesn't, it's, it's not it's, good for chopping because you it's can't. Great, it's great for meat, for, for carving. Maybe carving, that's what it is. And then you've got your different uh, steak yeah. knife and you've got your paring knife. But that makes more sense. It's a, it's a, it's a, a butcher knife. Now this is the hard part. When you're Smell, cutting, smelling, guys. Those of you who don't, who do know, great. If those of you who don't know, pay attention. When you grab, you grab your 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 whatever you're cutting. Knuckles are out. Yeah. Tips of fingers tucked in. Hopefully you can see that clearly. Knuckles out, and that's what's going to happen. And now you, when you cut, you don't have to worry about cutting down on your tips of your fingers or your thumb. Make sure that's all back. Now what I like to do is cut it nice and uh, nice and fine. Yeah. Because you don't want big chunks. I mean, some people like big chunks in their in their sauce, but I don't. Not my not my for day. Now I'm not I'm not going to cut this super fast like a pro chef. Okay, I don't do this all day long. Okay, but well, you, you know, we all try our best, and that's the main thing. And then I want to show you a trick after this. Um, how I chop my onions. Just a little, just a little bit differently. Yeah, well, Matt probably does this too at home. Let me show you something. Oh, okay. Hang on. Can I just get this finished? Or? Yeah, chop it up. What do you? What's your trick? Let me show you. Okay. 
Uh, this actually, this, whoop. They were calling me a clean cook. This trick is actually um, uh, really excellent for when you don't need a lot of the onion, or even if you're just using half like Matt did, right? So you just do this. Oh my gosh, you're going to cut your thumb. No. Okay. And then you take it, make like a checker pattern. That's it. Okay, so you do this. And then the other side. Same thing that Matt did, but, but it's all holding together. It's not a pain. It's not... Oh, I can't watch this guy with his thumb. My goodness. I, I swear you're going to cut your thumb. I've never cut myself in my life, <laughs> and I'm not going to start today. And just like that, you have chopped onions. All that... And you can keep going. Risk. No, there's no risk at all. And then that's it. And then you yeah, got... Thank you. Perfectly cubed. Very Look nice tip. Look at this mess. Very nice tip. It was really good. Like it. You, whatever, you choose whatever one, whichever way you want to do it. Okay. Now you don't want to have too much. That's about that's about loss of onion. Oh, you think so? Oh yeah. I oh, like yeah. onion. I'm like I'm like that. Yeah, I like you onion. like onion? We'll put a little more in there for you. There you go. Okay. Because this is really uh, um, boils down or whatever you call it, but it, it simmers down nice. Okay. Now, do we have pepper and salt and stuff like that, Matt? Sure, we do, Josh. Just underneath here. There you go. What are you going to do? What are you, what are you adding? I'm just going to add a little, just a little bit of salt here in the beginning. Right. Just a touch of pepper. Let me just get to the fridge for a sec. I'll be right back. And now we're going to let that simmer if this thing would heat up. Now, if you guys uh, watched our last cooking show, Matt promised that we would have a different element, didn't you? What's that? Your word is on your heart. I did, your I heart. did, and uh, unfortunately our, our uh, stage crew didn't get it in time. But what are you going to do? Look at this guy, he's just shoving things onto well, the Well, you desk. made such a mess here, no. I had to clean everything up now. Your little, I don't know what that beginner checker pattern you did there, but... That was, uh, that's a, a chef-inspired uh, way to cut things. Chef Ramsay, is, is it? One of them. One of the chefs. All right, let me get this cleaned up here. All right, so that water's boiling, and this thing's... Slowly get into temperature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little cover on this guy. Maybe. Yeah, so like Josh was saying earlier, and, and, and he was uh, trying to steal the moment. Penny Alla Vodka comes. Actually, they don't really know who invented it. They have a couple of ideas. Like a, there was a restaurant in, uh, Don, uh, called the Dante in uh, Bologna. 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 I always call it Bologna. Yeah, they, Bologna, they don't. Bologna, Italy. That uh, kind of claims that they're the ones who made it, but just the oldest. That's the oldest garlic I've ever seen. Yeah. You didn't have to crush it to get to the end. <laughs> to the, to the, to I didn't. It must have been sitting in our fridge for quite some time. But I don't even know how we're going to. Just thick yeah. chunks of garlic. This, I'll tell you something. That's a nice little knife, though. This is. is like a th 30 or $40 set. Yep. But nice. I like the black. Sleek. Right? Yeah, and it is nice. There's no, there's not even any flavor in this. What are you gonna get out of this? You uh, you'll get some. You we also have that little bit of that scoop that you can use. Yeah, I would just use that instead. Oh, I would. Let me see something. Give it a little taste. No, oh, you're still lots of flavor in that. Lots of flavor in that. Yep. Lots of oil and stuff. Yet you can feel it on your fingers. Yeah. Now, uh, here we got the pot boiling for the uh, for the penne. Um, here you have the the onions that are finally starting to simmer. You can get a garlic press and push this through a garlic press. It'd probably be a good idea. Okay. Okay. Knife's able to do a nice rocking motion like that. It's pretty good. Yeah, when you're doing finely chopped stuff. Yep. All right, Josh, let's put that in. Garlic. I would leave the pot, off, the lid off now that it, because you want to get some of that water to boil the pot. Leave it off for now. No, whenever you have a, whenever you have the, the the lid on the pan like that, um, it's, it traps all the steam in, keeps the water in. It heats up faster, so you're getting the job done faster. But you want that moisture to kind of escape, so that it, so that it reduces things down to the essence of the flavor and gets the water out of there. Otherwise, you end up with a watery, uh, watery nightmare. Hey, Josh? Uh, yeah, I know. It's a, it is. Uh now, when you're, when you're uh, doing these onions, they're going to continue to cook throughout the process. But you want to get, uh, so they almost become translucent. Um, and then that, or, and, and that smell of garlic, you only need a couple minutes. 
before the fragrance really comes out, then you can start. Yeah, you can it smell it. Now, step. what we're going to do right away while this is cooking up, you want to do this. You want to do this so it starts to really build in the flavors. We want to start getting the prosciutto ready, Josh. All right, so this is the prosciutto uh, air dried pork. Right. Now, I need to tell you guys something. While he's getting ready to, with that, do you want to even cut some up? You chop them up? Yeah, chop it up into some little pieces there. It's just like, going to tell us a story. Bite -sized now, how big, how, do you want to use, you want me use it all, eh? Well, I'm going to use it all. Well, I wouldn't use it all. That's a lot. No, man. It's, I, I don't think so. Well, yeah, it's going to overpower the dish. Yeah, no, just use like uh, half of that. What? Well, sure. It's, not, it's not like it's not like bacon. Bacon it, uh, bacon cooks down. This is going to be. It's very very powerful. Right? Mistake, but it's your dish. He's cooking today. If you want more later? We'll put more later. But, but then it won't be cooked. Okay, what I want you to do though is I want you to try that. Just eat that, just like that. Have a taste. Hmm. Oh, I love that prosciutto. And you see how much salt there is in it? Yep. Okay, you don't that need salt is going to be in the dish. You start adding salt now, you're going to have a problem. It's going to be too salty. You don't want to do that. What you got there? Nice. Oh, yeah. What we got? Okay. All right, you put some more in there. There you go. Yeah. I can see that he's not going to be happy until he does it. We don't want to be fighting. Two cooks in the kitchen fighting? Not a good idea. Not a good idea. All right, so we got uh, this is cooking down. It's nice. Um, Reaches over a guy cutting. Yeah, Could have sliced it. your wrist. No, I don't, I don't. I'm not worried about that. I'm not scared of you. Um, you can start to see that nice to get nice and sh uh, translucent, and that flavor just building in there. My goodness, just just mouth watering. Our water's boiling. Let's get our our, our penne in there. Now. Okay, can okay, I a little bit of uh, butter in that? Yeah. What I like to do is not put butter in that. I mean, you could. If that's what you want to do, we'll do it. Otherwise, I suggest we just put a little oil. I prefer butter, but that, you put oil. You put it since you already have it. You always put a little you oil just, in there. I, I like the butter because that butter ends up on the flavor of the butter ends up on the. Uh, I like put the butter in the sauce. Okay. Now, I don't want to. I don't want to burn it off. In the, so the oil in the in the water. Uh, a little bit of salt in your water. Just a little, not a lot. Okay, get that nice and ready. Let's get that penne in there. Now you're probably gonna put half of that, I would think, Josh. Yeah. And half, and then we're gonna bring that up to up to temperature and let that boil. Well, this will take around. Uh, each package is a little different. Well, how much you got? You can put a little more if you want. Not too much. That's uh, good. That's good. Just just so he knows who Big Brother is, eh? That's it, man. Everybody needs a, a chef. One chef. That's it. Today's match show. Now. This uh, is coming along nice with that, but you might want to get ready for that vodka now. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to put a lid on this. Normally I wouldn't, but I'm going to put it on here to get that heat, get that boiling faster. Um, let's put in, let's put in. You got your vodka. You want to do the vodka first? Oh, what, were you, what were you suggesting? Well, I was going to put the tomatoes, but we put the vodka. Here. Oh, no, you have to put the vodka in first. Well, I'll, I'll let you, uh, I'll let that be you. I think I, you definitely have to put the vodka in first because the, uh, the tomatoes will smother. It's a nice, this look at is the Tito's ice. handmade vodka. Now, do you have a, where's your lighter? Here, let me do that because you're going to light it with a short. Matt has found his lighter. It's going to burn the hair off his knuckles. All right. just, put it uh, in there. Do this here. So that I'm not just, you just need about a half a cup. I have a cup of vodka. That's what's making this dish vodka, right? Can't say about that, eh? Because it's not, we're not yeah, making a huge need. sauce, a huge dish of sauce. Yeah. All right, let me know when you're ready there with the. Go with ahead, your put it in. All right. That's over for a minute. And now, enjoy the show. Uh, I don't think it's going to be hot enough yet. I think so? No. You gotta wait for that to start burning. You want, you're, not gonna get, you're not gonna get the. Uh, again, it's partially. Part of the problem is our element uh, system here is not hot enough in here. But. And with that cold vodka that we put in, you need to have, you need, it needs to have that steam happening. We're not getting that yet. It's coming. 
So the, the, the vodka goes in. We're going to light that in a second to burn off some of that alcohol because you don't want to have that too... Right, you don't want to have that alcohol really strong in there. Um, and then you're going to add your tomatoes. And now you're getting the base of your sauce, a nice tomato sauce. Speaking base. of speaking of tomatoes, let me. You're gonna have to start opening. that. start opening because we don't have a can opener, so I got to use this. Uh, uh, we had to improvise since we're a t we are a tool show. Uh, we had to uh, improvise. We had to find a. Uh, Isn't that interesting? We don't have a t can opener on here, but we do have one in this knife. Yeah. Josh is gonna go ahead and and old fashioned butcher away. Like That's it. Now, all I have to do is really get get it started. Ha half the can. And then Show them how that works, how those, how those can openers work. I don't know if, you can, if they're going to pan over to you. But I think they might be able to see here. It's all about just getting that. Just going to hook it and then, and then slide it. And this, is, this comes with most, most utility knives. Um, this is uh, one from Cat. It works great. You just got to hook that can at the back. Some cans are a little, have a bigger lip than others. And then you just have to go ahead and... And there's, there's no sharp edge on it. There's no, it's, like it's not a blade. All it is is pushing that metal down it's breaking the net metal breaking there are better down. systems but beggars can't be choosers at this point right now you want to light that that vodka it should light now eh what do you think i think so there we go now we got a nice steam off of that we're gonna burn that vodka off all right it's some it, before it wasn't even getting any kind of a steam off, and as you can see, as if as it boils faster, that flame is getting getting larger, right? No, they, can they see that? They in can the, see uh, it. They can see it through the. Well, you can see the flame. And what's doing it? What's nice about this is it's charring. It's charring these uh, uh, these little bits of uh, prosciutto, right? And burning our wood spoon. It's not burning the wood spoon. Don't worry about I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Okay, bud. All right, now that's just going to... This is your penny a la vodka. This is what you're getting. This is how it's burning it off, burning down that... Generally, when I, so when I, when I cook this dish at home... This is a nightmare. That's good. Um, I use a big pot, like uh, this guy here. Right, and so this whole... It's, it's, a, it's a little bit of a safer system because the, the fire is contained up to this point. Yeah. Okay. Right? You don't want to burn off more alcohol? No. I want to keep it just like that. And let that just boil down now. Now I just want that to boil down. We've got that nice, that nice charred flavor. We're not burning down our cameras. And uh, gonna be there you go. Gonna be vodka though. Uh, yeah. Let's get. Let's let that simmer down some more now. Let's let it boil down. Let's show them like that again though, because that was a nice little, uh, nice little shot. I don't know what happened there. It is. Right. Just a little. And it's going to burn up again. If the flames get too too high, we're just going to keep it contained a bit. Contained a bit more because I don't want it to get too big on the studio here. But what that that prosciutto is what's going to give this flavor a very unique flavor. You can use bacon. I think you use bacon all the time, right? Yeah, I generally use bacon. My wife prefers that to uh, prosciutto taste. Yeah, but prosciutto is it has that cured, really cured meat. Uh, delicious flavor. How's so whenever we in? whenever we cook the penne vodka at home, I let the uh, the fire just burn completely out, um, because you don't want it necessarily you don't necessarily want that that you don't want a vodka taste. You don't want a vodka taste. You need you, you need the yeah the alcohol to burn down. And so water there. That's coming nice, Matt. That's coming. Oh, and I think that I think I just put it out or or did it burn out? It might have burned out. Let's try to light it up a little. Bit. Burning off a little bit more, not much more. But as that flame goes down, you can see that it's burning off the alcohol fumes. Uh, it's, it's really not, not keeping it anymore. Yeah, so it's, that's done now. A little bit more there, but that's it. All right, so that's right, good. So now we can add our tomatoes. Well, Is that what I, you want? I'd or like you want to, that to boil uh, down a bit I would more. like to just boil it down a little bit more, Josh. Just get some of that fluid out of there. If you wouldn't, you'd be okay with that? I'm perfectly fine. Right, good. Now, uh, here, Matt, here's your chopping block, because you got to chop up that... Uh, that basil and stuff, or are you just putting whole leaves in? No, no, I'm gonna chop up a little bit here. A couple of these more brown ones. These are from my garden at home. Sometimes when they're in the, uh, when they're in the, 
fridge a little too long, they get a little brown. That didn't matter. But they're still fresh bees. It's only been a couple of days. Off the plant, you know? Yeah. But you can smell that. Isn't that nice? That oh, basil? it's nice. Yep. So I like to put a little bit of basil into my dish as I'm cooking it. That adds a nice flavor. And then, uh, and then afterwards, I'll garnish the plate with some basil as well. Yeah, apparently, like, they, they started serving these at discotheques in the 80s. Yeah. And people just loved it. Well, who and, wouldn't? And it really just depended, because it had the cream base, right? Okay. All right, so you want these tomatoes in? Yeah, go ahead and put those tomatoes in. Ooh, I should have drained it. Yeah, let's drain, drain the water off. I thought you had. Otherwise, we'll get too much sauce and too much uh, water. You can just smell how good that is. It's really coming alive. The, the smells of the prosciutto, the garlic, the onion, the basil all coming together. Really nice. There we go. You can make this, if you were at a campfire, you could make a delicious oh, yeah, absolutely. meal like this. Very easy to make. A lot of tomatoes. We're going to make this work. How oh, small of a sauce do you want? Well, we're easy. cooking for two here. No, you got the whole set to worry about. It's okay. It's what it's about what you want. Now, some people would like would not would rather have this minced down even more. Okay, they would they don't want like a chunky sauce. So you can grind, you can blend your tomatoes down if you want, or grind them down. Yeah. Others like to have that chunkiness to it because it gives it a nice mouthful of flavor when you take a bite. But to each his own. We'll let that uh, let that heat up. But you can start to see how that's coming alive in that sauce, Josh. Very nice thing. All right. So this pasta has been boiling now about six minutes. It's going to require like a good ten minutes. And you can kind of feel it as you're stirring with the with the spoon. You can kind of feel the, the yeah. density of the pasta. Everybody likes their pasta a little differently. Some like it really mushy. Other people like it al dente, which is not quite cooked. It's it would a seem little, a, little a little chewy bit, almost. Yeah. I like mine in between. I like it just past the chewy, but I don't like it like soggy. So I like to have it right at that. This here is poison. Spot. The only way to know that, unless you're doing this all the time, to take one and try it. Yeah. Otherwise, you know. Now, if you're cooking spaghetti, you can take it out and throw it up against the wall. If it sticks, it's ready. Yeah, we used to get in trouble for that. But we still did it. But my goodness, I can't wait to get the new one. The, um, um, now, with this, generally, you, uh, can do, uh, you can do some uh, appetizers. Uh, what's a, a really nice one is... Um, um, Bruschetta bread, right? So along with the tomato sauce, you have your, you make that uh, some nice, you take a baguette or whatever kind of bread that you prefer for that. And you cut it into little pieces. You, yeah, you slice it diagonally and you, and then you can, if you have another pan, you can uh, put some butter in that and, and, and kind of sear that, toast that, grill it. And then you put your tomatoes with the little mixture that you did. Um, and uh, and that, that's good. Now, when oftentimes this is dinner time, you're, uh, you 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 want to pair it with a nice alcohol, a uh, nice drink, a beverage. Uh, what we suggest, or what is is white wine. Uh, they say that uh, a nice oak flavored white wine, a Chardonnay or a, or anything like that, is is preferable. Is ideal. Is ideal. This is a new system here. Why don't you show them our, our little? Uh... Yeah. So can you see that? Can they see that in the camera? You think? The, uh, this is a kit that you get, I think it's, a, what, 38 bucks? Yeah, it's not expensive. It's not an expensive kit, but it's a really nice little, little system. Uh, this is, uh... And the brand out of the box. This is what it looks like. We yeah. haven't even used it yet. I haven't used it. So, here's the different features that it has. Now, I like this. This is an aerator. I have one, but it's, but it's, uh, one that's, you just put it over your glass and you pour it in. But I like this because you just pour this right over your bottle. And every glass is, it's just, it's a much simpler system. And so, that aerator, what that does... Because I think you really only use that with red wine. I'll use it today for, to, to demonstrate it. Um, but it, it, it acts like, because generally with wine, you have to open it like 45 minutes before you even drink it. The tannins, to let you that, understand. To let that air out. The tannins need to be released. And so, what, and so what happens is most of the time you forget, and then you just, oh, you know what would be nice? It's a bottle of wine right now. Usually so, by about a half hour after a bottle of wine is open, most of my bottle of wine is empty. So I don't know what they're talking about. I never tried that. The... Uh, <laughs> And so that's what the aerator does, is it, 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 it adds that air infusion into the glass as it's being poured, like it's been opened. Uh, you have this here, this guy. Josh, you used to be like a, a bartender and mm -hmm. a server, so you would serve people and 
Did you have any contraptions like this to make things? No, no. I, I had a simple bottle opener. That's why I'm interested That's in this. That's a cork. This is a vacuum stopper, right? So you put this in your bottle. Once you've, like I, when I'm at home, I never finish a bottle. And so I have a couple of glasses because my wife's not a big drinker. She might have a half a glass. And then I'd put something in it like this and you pump the air out of it. And then you're able to, it, it stores for uh, an, uh, like a day or so more. Yeah. My wife and I never finish the second bottle either. Yeah. This here is a wine ring. I'm not exactly uh, positive what this does. It cuts the stuff off. No, not this one. This is a wine ring. It oh, is that maybe different. for the, what does it say on the package? It's got to tell it's you. Just, it's just See, a some wine of these ring. things are just beyond us. Like, it's way too fancy. It's a, it's a wine ring. Like, uh, what, you put it around the bottle maybe? Yeah, just to you, make you, it look you, nice? You, you, yeah, I guess. Oh, it stops the drips from going down. That's probably, you're probably, that is right, but it's just. It's, what? Why would you do it? A, no, I would never use it. Why, because you know how to pour. I know how to pour. And you have this. This is a pourer. It, it, it literally goes in the tip and it, and it stops. Why aren't you opening it? Why are you just showing? Why don't you actually show us I'm how to show them start all. from I'm start sh- to finish? I'm going to. I'm just showing them what's in the package here. I so you have, your, uh, you have your, 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 the, you main, I mean? the main contraption here for, for removing the, uh, the cork and then this. So this is what you got to start with. So right now this looks like a meaty tomato sauce here and not very red. Boy, is it coming together nice. So this is how you get rid of the foil that's around your glass. Right? You see how they have little cutters here? This simply goes on top like this. Take the right size. And you give it some pressure. And you spin it off. And there you go. See how it, 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 it removed the top for you. Without making too, too much of a mess. Oh, we didn't get any of that foil in my sock. No, right? don't worry about that foil. It's not going to hurt you. It'll send you to the hospital only for a few minutes. Right. Okay, so then you take your, uh, your, your bottle opener, right, and, and put it all the way down, and then you put this over top of it, just like so. Kind of center it, if you can. I'm a little bit nervous here, because this might, uh... It what? Quite, doesn't want to quite go center on this thing. Knock stuff over here. This bottle's a little bit different. Let's just see how we do. Okay. Squeeze it tight. Okay. And then... Ta-da! Just like that. You removed your cork. It's a very easy way to remove a cork. Instead of, you know, twisting that in there and, and, and heaving it away. I don't believe that there's a way to, that, that you remove it after. There you go. Just like that. And then that comes off and you can use that later or you can save it and make a little desk and a table. So now you have your bottle of wine open. Yeah. You have choices. Um, you can use this guy here, right? Which has an internal cork for when you're, not, when you're not doing it. Now let me show you how that works. So if you're at a fancy restaurant, here's what you're going to get. You're going to have a guy that comes without this, of course. And he's going to come. He's going to give you a little bit to smell, right? Let me smell that. Have a smell. Mm. Mm, delicious. Right, very berry. This is not oak, but it's California. It's nice and nice. And it's a nice year. Very nice uh, Chardonnay. <laughs> All right, so then that's that pour is, is is nice. Okay. But what I would suggest. Let me see that for a sec. That that wine. So this is a uh, Kendall Jackson. Wintner's Reserve Chardonnay, the 2018 vintage 2018. Best year. It's uh, you know a family owned winery. It's kind of a run of a mill wine that you would. Uh, you get it. It's not a real fancy wine, but it's a nice little, nice little pairing wine for a dish like this, right? For a pasta dish. So once they, once you uh, have accepted the, the, that you like it, you can use this guy here. Bear with me. I might spill. I don't know. I haven't used this yet. And this is just an aerator. So you see the air bubbles is putting in there. Let me come close to the camera so you can see. It's, it pours slow. A little close. Back up just a hair. It's a little slow, but there's a lot of air bubbles being put into it. And so that's really going to open the, all the flavors and really be a real nice glass of wine. No drips. All right. So our pass is ready. Okay. Um, I'm going to just I'm gonna drain it here. A colander. A special type of colander. And we're going to wash that later. Now, Matt, what do you think this temperature is here? Now, I don't know what it's supposed to be. What's that? What the wine's temperature is. It's actually cool. I, I, that's been chilled. Supposed to be right, so right now it's uh, 
So 20 degrees. That's so it's chill. You turn that element off for me, John. All sorts of things in this little in this little kit here. I'm just gonna put that. Now what I like to do just to just to make sure my pasta doesn't stick. I'm waiting. More just, more oil. But just a hair, just a, a hair. What, that's not the word really. So just a smidge of. Yeah, you did. Never use that word when you're cooking food. Just yeah, a hair in your food. Just a hair in your food. So this is the uh, this is it removes the air. Let's do that, right? You'll notice that it stops it stops pumping shortly once you get all the air out. And there you go. See, it starts to it really sucks down. It really sucks down the uh, see, and now it won't go down anymore. Push it down, and you've sucked the air out, and so now it's airtight again. And then that wine will keep. For uh, for you know Jeez, another man, that's without going bad, just a delicious. Um, how much is that? So this is like a, this is a thirty eight dollar kit, uh, and it comes with all the information that that, that you would need on it. Um, you know, it tells you exactly what everything is, uh, and so you can. It's a really nice little piece to add to your bar. Now stir, now, stir that around. Thing. Let's get that to the color that we want. You don't need much more, I wouldn't think. Look at that. Look how delicious that looks. Okay, marvelous. Marvelous. Get rid of this. I'm just going to turn it down just a little bit. Oh, thank goodness for my apron. Yeah. That well, would have been on your shirt. No, I don't, uh, I don't slot things. No, you do. Well, let's have a look, okay? Let's have a look, shall we? At my side, and let's look at your side. Who is just stirring this? You. That's not for me, bud. It's just from you. Check, Check tape. tape. I'm, I'm oh. a, a, a good cook it makes a mess. All right. Let me just tell you that right now. All right. So why don't you put this on your side over there, Josh? Board. Pasta. We need to get just a bigger table, I think. Just a bigger workstation. Or we just deal with what we got. That's it. Right? Yeah, people do it. Yeah. All right. Now let's gonna just let that cook up nice. Where my spoon go? Look at that. You can see wine. that's got a nice. Now, some people like that all blended and just be a blended sauce, which is beautiful in itself. But I like the, the nice chunks that gives it a little bit more meat. Now, you can add like a, a shrimp to this if you want or something else. But, I mean, just with all that prosciutto in there, it's going to be delicious. Now, we got our craft. We got our craft uh, Parmesan. If you have fr a fresh Parmesan, you can grate that on there. That's even, that's even nicer usually to have. So here's our little, uh, little serving dish. We'll make a nice little dish up. I need my this and then these. This I'll need um, spoon. This. These wooden, uh, these little wooden uh, uh, handles. These are great. This is nice. a whole kit you can buy. It should be in the carousel. Really nice little set. Uh, everything that you need to make a nice dish like this. They feel comfortable in the hand. They don't now, scratch any of the, the pots. Like this, we're working with uh, granite stone. Um, which is 30% off, I believe, right yeah, now? Yeah, 30% off right now. Well, right. maybe not 30%, but I forget, but it's percent And this, the plateware is 30% off. So lots of sales going on right now. Make sure you're taking full yeah, advantage those. of them. A very important part of cooking. So let's say you're cooking this nice meal for your wife, right? She doesn't want to see that you come in right after a hard day's work. You haven't changed your work clothes. You run into the kitchen and you make a giant mess everywhere. It's all part of, it's all part of the, 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 the night, the moment, making it special. You go in, you've cleaned yourself up nice, you got a nice, your nice shirt on or whatever, you, you got a nice apron ready to go. And everything that you do, all your workstations, you keep it nice and clean and tidy. So it looks like you've got a really, it's like you're creating a piece of artwork. And you're making it nice all the way, all the way along, every step of the way. Go crazy somewhere else. And then this, and then this is the, this is the final step. Okay, this is the final step. Now we're going to take the, the, uh, the pasta. Now you see, maybe at home, you know, mom made you pasta. She just threw it on the plate for you, and you, you know, when you've got a bunch of kids, you're not really interested in plating and serving it up where it's beautiful. Um, so a nice little, nice little portion. Again, you can always get more, right? You don't have to just load up the plate like your it's your last meal. All right. Just a uh, nice little, a nice little pasta like that. Nice little thing like that. Make sure all of the pasta is not touching the edges. Okay, so you have a nice clean area around it. And now we're going to add our sauces. A nice meaty sauce. And this is important. This is an important part of the process as well. Getting the right amount of tomatoes. This is just for the initial. Oh, go up a little bit there. This is just for the initial. Um, Let me help you out here. 
Thank you. you don't want that. No. For the initial serving. Afterwards, you're going to go back for seconds or whatever. You go right ahead. Right? No one's going to fault you for that. Um, and then you just nice sauce over top. You keep it all contained as much as possible. This is going to be a absolutely delicious, a delicious meal. Okay? And then you top it off. A couple of nice pieces of mint. Of basil. <laughs> yeah. Nice piece and then basil. cheese, man. Don't forget the cheese. I tell him all, right. all the time. He forgets. So I got one little nice piece of nice little bit of little bit of cheese. Drink full of cheese. Make it just right. I'll put those on after I guess. And there you go. Now again, that's your completed meal. I mean, that that's a meal there fit for kings. You can see the heat coming through those. It's nice when you have a little piece of bread with that. Um, and you take a snapshot of that and you put it on bread. Instagram. No, thank you. I'm so not a picture guy like that. Why not? I, I don't know. I just don't, I've never I never take a second to take a picture because I'm missing the the moment. I know. I just I've, this is the moment. This is your dish. So now you've got your glass of wine. And your and your dish. You just ruined it. Look, let's just clean up some of this so that people can see what it looks like from the distance. Over here. There's your little. Uh, Never enough counter space, right? Isn't that what everybody says? Well, you have these people, these giant kitchens, beautiful, big, beautiful kitchens. Yeah. Give that a wipe down. All right now, you made here. Uh, dry that off for me. Thank you, bud. This guy here, we're in Chef Ramsay's kitchen. Well, yeah, make it nice. Okay, so there's your first dish. Now we're gonna make a second one for you. That was Which hers. I can't maybe. Have. Let's see if Josh learned anything from this. Let's see. Let's see if he can make a nice, a nice. I think he can. I believe in him. That's it. Nice, nice. Oh, ooh, it's a bit of a, a bit of a heaping. Portion. Well, Portion. I got, maybe this is for I got the a guy. big eater. Let me grab that so you're not melting our. our worry about probably that. good. Actually, probably can handle a lot of heat. This top. Oh, I think so. We made this top out of that uh, acrylic. Or, uh, now, unlike Matt, I'm not going to bring my ladle all the way over. I'm going to bring the pan to me. Yeah, you do. You do whatever it is you want to do, bud. Let's see what you got here. Explain your process. Process is you put the sauce on top. A little bit of sauce in here, like so. Just a touch. You don't want a whole lot of sauce. Um, right now, his wife watching the show, and she's got to be so excited that he's learning these kind of tricks. Yeah, where's my... Uh, like, he'd have just kind of mixed all this in this pot right here. they pot. <laughs> stirred it around, and it just... You know, you, now you could put it... You could stick this in a leaf like that if you wanted to. Yeah, you that. could. Sure. I'm going to do that to this one. Just make like a... You go. See? That's even that's even that's even a cooler trick. And then a little bit of cheese, but you know what? People like cheese, you know. So don't be afraid to put a little bit of cheese on there. So what's with the bouncing off of one hand onto the other? Is that kind of like a like a dampering? Uh, yeah, like I like to uh, just kind of. I like to molest people's food before as much, I put as, it possible. As, much as possible. Right. Uh, and there you go. Okay. So there's Josh dish. In my my look, you can already see my basil browning there. So you know, I chose the right basil. You know, that's, that's that's the piece that you chose. He, he gave he served you rotten basil <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself and there's your dishes guys so you've learned how to make um penny a la vodka it was simple you boiled some water you boiled your pasta up didn't take long it took about 10 minutes for that chopped to boil. up your onions you saw a couple tricks your garlic uh, you, you fried it up with some prosciutto and then your vodka then you lit your vodka burned off all that alcohol it's important to burn yes. it all off yes then you threw in your tomatoes you can either grind them, like blend them up, put stewed tomatoes in and blend them up if you want. Chop up however some, you want to do. Chopped it. up a little bit of basil, put that in there as well. Um, and you put your, and then once that, once the uh, it would all simmered down and, and reduced down, and wasn't so much water in it, we added the cream. cream. You can't, you don't want to boil the cream. If it gets too hot, it's going to separate and it's going to curdle. So always you put that. your cream in last way at the end. Right, and then you can always add if you want to add parmesan to the sauce ahead of yeah, time. You can yeah. do that; it gives it a nice creamy parmesan-y taste. Or afterwards, like we did here, for a nice, beautiful finish to your dish. Guys, we hope you enjoyed the, uh, the little chef show today. Thanks Josh, you did a wonderful job. I really appreciate all I, the hard work. I was happy to do this, chef. Thank you. The, uh, 
uh, we had the we had a nice wine pairing. We showed you the different. This kit is really nice for thirty eight bucks. You can't go wrong because yeah. it gives you absolutely everything. My aerator that I bought back when it was cool to buy aerators, it was brand new. It was like sixty bucks for just one little piece. Yeah. This you have everything you need uh, in, for thirty eight bucks. It's on sale right now. You got your plateware that's thirty percent off. You got your your uh, granite stonework uh, cookware that's a percentage off. You got your wooden uh, wooden spoons. It's all in the carousel for you. Take a look while you can because they're really good deals. Uh, grab it, uh, grab well, it now. And we will see you guys again right back here on Monday with another show. We're going to actually do some glass etching, I think, on Monday. Really? Yeah. All right, guys. You heard him. We'll see you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Make something for the family. Yeah, you? do